first of all sir uh, welcome back to national defense i believe that 7 8 years back we talked about unmanned warfare and today we see that the country has progressed a lot uh, because of drdo the efforts put in by you and your subsequent uh, leadership uh, today how you see this unmanned warfare sir and what are the challenges uh, lying in front of india as at the moment sir Uh, dear silesh thank you very much for giving me this opportunity again as you know that that i'm no longer in the helm of affairs but however technology wise it is not far away from me as we predicted the unmanned warfare is going to be the order of the day and you know we have a good amount of youngsters with us in the world we will be the pioneers if not today someday the point is the preciousness of the life is so much that we cannot afford to make the war with the men all the time we will have avax we will definitely will use it for a prediction but also it can be augmented with an empty number of unmanned devices unmanned vehicles which will help in increasing the power so you don't have to go all the way close to the enemy we can be far away and have a beautiful avax but it is aided by it is indirect vision indirect distributed virtual eyes all over the place more close to the enemy even if one is probably crashed or one is probably killed or shot down by somebody else we still have a good amount of knowledge and energy that is what is going to be a rule of the day and a e a is the uh, bread and butter for all our youngsters you can wait and see after some time we will be definitely conquering this world uh, so you mean to say that uh, such avax should be smaller in size they can be fitted on uavs uh, what is your uh, take on that certainly the avax can be much much smaller and it can be you don't have to have a, a longer endurance all that you need to do is you have your eyes or the virtual eyes distributed through drone systems or various other systems even the fixed ones elsewhere but you may be able to huge power you can transfer from the back end from your own avax again it's not necessarily a large aircraft is not required but the power is generated here but the drones are able to receive of our own we call it uh, one of my student did a uh, multi dynamic uh, type of avax uh, it's not a bi static multi static but dynamic also when you say multi static or bi static or unistatic you transmit and receive in the same place but the multi static is you transmit in one place and receive in many places whereas dynamic is none of them are stationary they move also so that is the order of the technology is now lot of mathematics involved but now with the computation and the quite amount of knowledge that is coming algorithms are available we will be making it very 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 compact that means distributed receivers a single or more more than one transmitters so uh, as we speak perhaps uh, i remember that the uh, uh, new jersey in america has recently witnessed lot of drone sightings and uh, later on the trump administration clarified that they, they that was part of the government program and perhaps the deputy uh, uh, secretary of defense uh, had earlier said uh, in in united kingdom that uh, perhaps they are on replicator 2 program so that means the drones are talking to each other drones are talking to avax drones are talking to satellites other fighter aircraft so you mean to say that india should be moving ahead with that uh, uh, in that direction uh, perhaps in the six generation warfare yes uh, the drones whatever you have seen there is yes, some of the program but though the initial lot of denials were there at the end of it probably they are agreeing may be true but as far as what i am trying to tell you is if you would like to have a sensors where you would like to have a larger antenna you have to have a reconfigurability also there is no need for us to have a single big antenna which is put in the ground and which is rotating at a some rpm or whatever it is they are all going to be a past one megawatt of producing power not required you produce small amount of what but you have plenty of sensor distributed and few of them getting lost will not be a matter at all so the sensing or a evaluating or a environment assessing is going to become much much better once you have an assessment of the true nature of the war true nature of your enemy you can always find a much better way of effectively controlling them or you know 
sort of taking an anti-action against them. That's all the main point I'm trying to talk uh, In about. that uh, regard, sir, I would, I would also want some clarification like uh, today, uh, because so much of data would be transferring from here to there, and enemy would uh, like to intercept. So how this can be uh, encrypted uh, and this should not be uh, hacked. So do you have some, uh, some, some, something to say on that, sir? Yeah, the encryption is supposed to be there. In addition to that, frequency hopping, SDRs are completely clear that SDRs are coming. So with that, the, the information is not that it's decoded, but the decoding time is such that by the time information is no longer information, by the time we move on with the newer information, newer work. So that is how the whole thing is working. Sir, uh, just to elongate this further, recently we have seen uh, the Chinese balloon in United States. Uh, China claimed it was a weather balloon. However, uh, the America has neutralized, but by that time it has gathered a lot of information. Can these sort of uh, AVEX be also put on such platforms, uh, the aerial platforms which are uh, uh, in, in, uh, to that high, uh, to that altitude, uh, which is not a space, which is not even an atmosphere? Yeah, the basic thing what you said is measuring or uh, taking the data from the, uh, you know, sort of a higher elevated platform known for centuries or even before uh, BC is also known. But the question is, you talked about a balloon sent by Chinese, which is obvious, right? But if you have a, a distributed small, small uh, drones, which is not even detectable, then you are having much more uh, sort of elusive way of getting the information. That is going to be a more, more, more and more, it's going to come. Kind of swarm drones. Swarm drones. So they, they would be talking to mother uh, motherships and... Uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. But they are all both are in the air so that the communication, line of sight communication is not affected. Sir, since you have different. since you have so much of information, so much of experience, uh, would you like to suggest uh, our Indian government, uh, because you, you have proven yourself uh, being the chairperson of the DRDO, would you like to suggest the government to have such program like Replicator 2, which US is having because India wants to be a Vixit Bharat by 2047 and this is the vision of our Prime Minister. And perhaps this is, uh, he has given a dream for every Indian to, to become Vixit by 2047. It is now no longer his own dream. It is dream of everyone. And that comes, uh, along with that comes security. So do you believe that India should have such robust, uh, large programs at that level? I'm assuring you, it's not necessary. I need to advise. Already we are all learning from the government that such a movement has already started. As you rightly said, it's not going to be only one government program. Every company, today I'm representing small, you know, startup companies. Everybody's mind is how to enhance the capability of India. It's there in the blood today. You can no longer stop. This momentum has started. This is going to really going to enhance and go up in the ladder. Not only the big government program, but the momentum created in the industry why the government of India is so large, you will see the avalanche effect of that. Thank you for speaking to National Defense. So grateful, sir, for your services. And uh, you all always inspire every Indian. Thank you so much for being with uh, National Defense, sir. Thank you very much for remembering me again and calling me again. Thank you. Bye-bye.